Oh, hi. I'm Carl Gordon. Well, everyone is preoccupied with their Christmas shopping. But I can't help feeling people have forgotten what this holiday is about. It's about giving, not getting. I mean, you don't hear me talking about how I want a larger dressing room or higher pay or how I want the remaining episodes of Rock this season to be about my character. No, I'm not thinking about any of those things. When someone wishes me a Merry Christmas, I wish them a Merry Christmas right back. <coughs> then I go off to my dinky little dressing room <laughs> and look at my tiny little paycheck. <laughs> so try to approach the season with the same spirit I do. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I love you, Yvette, Candace, Demetrius, and Gloria. Enjoy the show. So the Bible says, and it still is new. tribute to B.B. King. Yeah, I love him. Uh, well, I love when him. I was hanging out with B.B., he got a kick out of other musicians playing his stuff. Now, I remember this time in Chicago, we ran into Muddy Waters. Oh, wait, 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 Pop, wait, wait, Pop. Are you saying you knew both B.B. King and Muddy Waters? No, I knew B.B. King. I just met Muddy Waters. Now, if you're not going to listen, you just had to wait for my book. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, there's the guest of honor. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Oh, the whole neighborhood is proud of you, son. Yes. Yeah, getting into a great mu music school like that. Devon, Devon Brown, little Devon Brown. Come here, come here, boy. Let me take a look at you. Ooh, Lord have mercy, you sure have grown up. Look at you. I remember when you used to be yay high. Mm-hmm, and you was the chubbiest little thing, too. I always wanted to pinch them chubby little cheeks of yours. Uh, <laughs> El Eleanor, Eleanor, you want to leave the young man some dignity, oh, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> ready to do it? Yeah, I'm all set. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> all right, all right. Listen up, everybody. Let me introduce you to the young man we all came here to see tonight. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please say hello to Mr. Devon oh. Brown. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, for those of you who don't know and are here just because you're drunks, uh, <laughs> you know who you are. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Devon has been accepted to the Peabody Conservatory of Music. All right. All right, all right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, see, I take a great deal of pride in that because I gave him his first trumpet lessons when he was 14. Of course, back then, his voice squeaked more than his horn did. <laughs> the tune I'm about to play is one that Joey taught me. All right. Well, then let's knock it out. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Something, man. Yeah. yeah. Good. Got it going on. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. You know, you've been a real fine teacher for Devon, Joey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, you know, Devon's kind of like that younger brother I always wish I had. Yeah. You wanted a younger brother? Yeah, when you got rock for older brother, you need all the witnesses you can get. Oh, stop you know? it. Stop <laughs> it. And see, if I was to take oh, half of your you head off, of this. <laughs> Hey, look what I found today! Uh, uh, don't you put that on 
my table, Rock. Here, sit that thing here. All right. <laughs> boy, oh boy. A dirty, rusty, smelly, funky old cash register. <laughs> That's right. And just what the living room needs. <laughs> well, I hope this doesn't mean that you're gonna be charging me for my meals. Oh, <laughs> oh Pop, I'm not gonna keep this thing. I'm gonna repair it and sell it. But since Troy moved out of the neighborhood, I'll have to do it myself. Uh. Well, Rock, that shouldn't be too hard. Just get a screwdriver and poke around in the thing. <laughs> Eleanor, you just can't poke here. You know, this thing has all kinds of gears and racks and pinions, stuff like that. All right, MacGyver, you fix it your own way. But you know, if I was to fix this thing, it would probably work. Wait a minute, hold it. You think you can fix this better than me? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, son, you have just wandered into a minefield. Oh, I see what's happening here, Rock. You think that I can't fix this because I'm a woman. No, that's not true. I believe there are many women who can do this. You're just not one of them. Watch it, sweetie pie. You got your toe on the detonator now. <laughs> oh, Eleanor, you don't even know how to program a VCR. Neither can you. Or at least I got it to stop blinking 12 o'clock. Yeah! <laughs> By unplugging it. Well, well, it stopped, didn't it? Yeah, you might be cooking something in. Yep. Hey, hey what's up? Keep straight on out the door. Oh, all right, all right. We just need to pick up some shots here. Hey, uh, Devon, now if any of the furniture in this living room looks familiar, it's probably because you or somebody you know threw it out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll make a deal with you. What? If you can fix that cash register, you'll have to wear that little pink teddy every night all winter long. I don't know if that's quite fair, Ralph. That little pink teddy is like three strings and a hanky. I know. <laughs> that's my point. All right, okay, I'll take your bet. <laughs> but if I fix this thing, you are gonna have to fix dinner for me every Sunday, all winter long. Okay, I'll take that bet, because the way this thing's gonna go down, the only burner I'm gonna be turning on is yours. <laughs> we'll see about that, Rock. No, get off me now. No, we'll see, I ain't playing with you, Rock. <laughs> Base, base solos for about 32 measures, right? Okay. We come in on the end of one, yeah. nice little pace. Hey, hey, it should sound, this little uh, area here should sound like uh, right. all blues. All blues? You know all blues? I know all blues. I know everything Miles Davis ever did. He was brilliant. Before he got into pop music. What do you mean, uh, before he got into pop music? What kind of half-ass wishing you knew something about music statement is that? <laughs> come on, Joey, look at it. In the twilight of his career, Miles Davis turned into Kenny G. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, time out here, time out. Now, uh, how long you been on this planet? What, about a minute and a half? <laughs> Still got your mother's milk on your breath. Where you get off criticizing a giant like Miles Davis? Joey, I think you're better than he is. You think I'm better than he is? I think you're better than he is. Okay, well, you are entitled to your own opinion, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I almost believe you, too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So anyway, they gonna stay married, mm -hmm. but Prince Charles is gonna live on one end of the palace, and then Princess Di is gonna live at the other end of the palace, and then they gonna meet on the weekends in the garden to exchange the kids. Oh. Well, how is that different from any other married couple? The wife sleeps in the bedroom, the husband sleeps on the couch, and on the weekend, they fight over who's gonna take the rugrats to Chuck E. Cheese. Daddy, oh, if you had took me, you had took me to Chuck E. Cheese oh, one time. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Boy, Charlene sure did do a nice job with the Christmas trimmings, didn't mm, she? Mm. Yeah, well, given that the clientele is 150% black, you think Charlene would have put up some decorations for our African-American holiday, Kwanzaa? Mm. Oh, Daddy, I like all the Christmas lights and all. I think we should celebrate both Christmas and Kwanzaa. Mm -hmm. On the first day of Christmas, you yeah. said to me. But you know, <laughs> I remember the first Kwanzaa celebration in America. It was 1966. Yeah, I was in New York with Alex Haley, and he was having his doubts about <laughs> all of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I told him, I said, Alex, get in touch with your African roots. <laughs> Daddy, wait a minute. Now I 
got to call you out on this one. Now, how come every time you tell us one of these stories, there's a famous person involved? Yeah, we be talking about the Negro Baseball League. You'll say, yeah, I, I knew Satchel Paige. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we be talking about the blues and, you know, B.B. King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Daddy, come on. Now, sure. tell the truth now. <laughs> Did you really know any of these people? Now, you know, Muhammad Ali once asked me to say <laughs> Uh, it was in New York. Uh, I was uh, standing in front of Madison Square Garden, and it was the first, the second fight of uh, 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 with Sonny Liston. That's what it was. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, Keep on lying. I was standing in front of Madison Square Garden with Adam Clayton Powell. No, you weren't. Not these stories, I know. Hey, y'all, look. Look, there go Devon. Who are you standing with? That's Andre Thompson. That's the drug dealer I had to run in with last year. Well, what is Devon doing hanging out with the likes of him? I don't know. I'm about to find out. Hey. Hey, Joey. What's going on? All right. What's going on hanging with uh, Andre, man? That's a drug dealer. He's not uh, not trying to sell to you, is he? No, no, man. We're just friends. What's, uh, what's in there? Uh, just put all the questions, man. It's say 60 minutes. Devon, you're not working for Andre, are you? All I'm doing is a little pickup and delivery. Come on, man, don't trip. Everything's copacetic. Look, I gotta go. I'll call you later, okay? Devon. I'll call you. Devon, wait a sec. Devon. Well, you sure left in a hurry? He's running drugs for Andre, right? Oh, no, man, no. Yeah, I just tried to talk to him. He just ran out of here. Well, then, look, Joey, you know how it is. If he's into that drug money, he's pulling down five or $600 a day. He don't care nothing about music, school, or nothing. He's not going to listen. OK, he might not listen to me, but I go down there and talk to Andre my damn self, No, right? no, no, you, you out of your mind? I ain't scared of no Andre. I'm not scared of him either. That's not the point. Why go looking for trouble that's not yours? Come on, Rock, I'm talking about Devon here. I can't just let this go, man. That's, that's you know, we grew up together. I helped him get his first horn, man. That's my boy. Well, I know he's your boy, but you're my only brother. And it's Christmas time. I ain't got no bail money. <laughs> Rock, think about Devon. No, I'm not thinking about Devon right now, Joey. I'm thinking about you. All right, all right. I hear what you're saying, OK. I got some thinking to do myself. All right. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Remember this? Oh, Recognize man. Uh-huh. This beautiful, fully functional cash register retails for $99.95, but it's yours for the low, low price of admitting that you do not have a clue as to what I can and cannot do. Whoa, that's, that's a good job. That's a damn good job. Uh -huh. <laughs> and for extra credit, I set the clock on the VCR. Well, baby, <laughs> you can fix anything you want around here anytime. And since you're doing all this fixing, I hope you're fixing to take me upstairs. Wait a minute, Rob. You did not win this bet. I did. And since it is Sunday, I know just what I feel like having for dinner. Stuffed fish. Oh, come on, Eleanor. Stuffed fish is hard. Come on. Crab meat. Oh, come on, Eleanor. Crab meat is hard, too. Come on, you, 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 you know I can't cook. You know how to eat? Just work backwards. <laughs> Man, what did you do? I told you to give me a shake. You gave me a fade. Shape, fade, jerry curl, fat blacks, it's all the same to me. It's all hair. Here. Next. <laughs> How you doing, Joe? Andre. Talk to you for a minute, please. Trumpet man. What's up? What you, uh... Having bookie trouble? No, 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 nothing like that. Um, this is about Devon. What about Devon? OK, um, I don't know if you know this or not, but Devon is a hell of a musician. And he just got accepted to the Peabody Conservatory. Andre, that's a, it's a very prestigious school. 
He needs to be focused, man. He, need, he needs to concentrate on his music, see? So you, you, you uh, see yo, what yo, I'm trying yo, to say, yo, man? Yo, yo, yo! Nix it, man. You should be talking to Devon, not to me. Devon! What up? Get out here. What's up, man? Toy, what are you doing here? Trumpet man's been bragging about your plan, man. He claims you're pretty good. Vaughn, you got your axe here? I got my axe. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Go get your horn and play something for him, okay? I know what I'm doing. Go get your horn. Devon! Go get your trumpet and play something real nice for me, man. Not bad, boy. In fact, that's damn good. No, no, no. That's 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 great, Andre. See, that's what I'm talking about. You don't even need him, do you? Hey, look, I don't have a gun to Devon's head. Devon wants to go, he can go. Devon, listen to me, okay? You got a shot, man. You got accepted to one of the best schools in the country, Devon. Anything you ever dreamed of, you can have now. Records, concerts, everything you ever dreamed of, man. The sky's the limit. But if you hang here, man, you're gonna start using these drugs, man. Then you ain't gonna have no start life. Start using drugs. <laughs> you know, Devon here is his own best customer. Ain't that right, Devon? Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, wait, what is he talking about? Tell me, tell me, tell me he's lying. Look, Joy, you're making way tell too much Tell me that man is lying, this, man. Devon. I got it under control. You got what under control? That's what Charlie Parker and Billy Holiday and Jimi Hendrix and every junkie laying in the street says. Well, maybe they didn't know what they were doing. No, Devon, maybe you don't know what you're doing. Well, stay out of my business, Listen, okay? I want you to use your head, Devon, please. Yeah, Listen to me, okay? You got a shot, my man. You are my business. Devon, Devon! When you get finished out here, I got something for you to do, man. I'm done right now. Devon. Devon, Devon, come here, come here! dinner's left. <laughs> yeah, Pop. Well, before you start with the wisecracks, why don't you taste it? <laughs> well, maybe you're right, son. Just because it smells like grease fire doesn't mean it has to taste bad. <laughs> all this food, huh? I'll take it down to the homeless shop. All right. That is cruel. <laughs> yeah. What did the homeless ever do to you? <laughs> oh, hey, son. Hey, Joy. What's up? I just came back from talking with Andre. What? And I told you to stay away from him. Uh, Daddy, Daddy, come on with me. Let's go get something to eat, okay? Uh, let's go down a little Italy. Uh, I know this great restaurant that Joe DiMaggio told me about. <laughs> All right, what went down? Well, I got down there, I realized that uh, Andre doesn't tell him what to do, man. Devon does whatever he wants to do. So I just, I said, okay, you, it's none of my damn business. Yeah, yeah, I see, man. I mean, yeah, Brock, he's a, he's a loser anyway. I mean, so, what's one more junkie in the music world, huh? Oh. Hey, Joy. I want you to know, man, I'm proud of you for trying. Rock is just... That was my boy, you know? 
He will. Yeah, I know, man. I know, I know. Oh, you want some stuffed fish? <laughs> It'll make you feel better. <laughs> Stay tuned. Rock Live will continue in a moment. Eleanor! <laughs> hey, hey, look what I found. What? It's a slot machine. No. You think you can fix it? <laughs> Give me a break. I just finished changing the oil in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check this out, huh? <laughs> hey, uh, Rock, can I have a quarter? Yeah, well, mine look just like the ones you got in your pocket. <laughs> you know, some people, some people just... Petty, boy. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh, oh man! Hey, man! Oh, man! Hey, 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 let me try. Hey, hey, let me try. <laughs> let me, let me try. Money. <laughs> let me try that there. Give me some of that money. <laughs> <laughs> what the? It, didn't get it ain't you. my quarter. You lost. Gee, you know money. Hey! Rock, don't break the thing. We can still sell it. Well, my 25 cent inside, hell no. Hey! Hey! She yelling at the phone, huh?